right, we got a few minutes here, and I want to connect with Attorney Thomas DeVore. He secured the Republican nomination last night for Attorney General to take on the Democratic incumbent, Kwame Raoul. He is one of uh, two candidates that uh, took the nomination after they challenged Governor J.B. Pritzker's COVID-19 orders. And I think, uh, Tom, you are uh, one of those individuals who uh, wasn't just one case. You had multiple cases challenging everything from exclusion policies, keeping kids out of school for being a suspected contact COVID-19 to mask policies and vaccine mandates and the sort. Uh, your reaction to the victory last night. Congratulations and good morning. Good morning, sir. Thank you. You know, uh, I think the people of Illinois uh, are starting to pay attention to what's going on and how they've been treated for the last two years. And and, and I think they're going to make a difference in November. So what do you think the issues are going to be heading into uh, the general election against Kwame Raoul? You know, it's going to be interesting to see because, as I understand it, uh, Attorney General Raoul is going to get a press conference today. So, you know, we haven't heard from him at all, like zero in the last two years when, you know, the people of this state needed him. So, you know, to me, the issues are, are quite clear. Uh, How is the Attorney General going to protect people? and protect them from their governor at times. And, you know, I'd like to hear him talk about that. Well, and if you could address that, how would you, if you do get elected attorney general, um, what would be your role? How would you view uh, your your position in that office? Again, one of the primary things, which I think is on a lot of people's mind, is that the attorney general needs to let whoever the governor is know that there's not going to be any more of these mandates against people. These mandates have destroyed lives. Uh, at all levels in the last two years. And so my office would let that governor know, whether it's Mr. Bailey, whether it's Governor Pritzker, you're done with the mandates. You need to find a way to govern the way that the people intended us to govern, which is through the legislature. That'd be the first day. We're talking with Attorney Thomas DeVore here with Springfield's Morning News. He is the GOP nominee for the Attorney General uh, position that's uh, heading into November against Democratic incumbent Kwame Raoul. Um, Tom, we've seen, of course, this happen uh, with previous attorneys general, and it happens across the country as well. Uh, especially during the Trump administration, you had uh, Raoul join with other Democrats to sue the the president on a variety of different things. How would you would you take that type of approach? Uh, when it comes to um, you know, getting into the national stage if you were to become attorney general? And what would be the criteria for taking those steps? The answer to that is yes. I think that the attorney general not only has an obligation to protect the people of the state uh, against things happening here at home, also on the federal level. I mean, the, the federal government over the last several decades has become more and more uh, involved and the lives of the people within the state than they should, in my opinion. So to the extent the president, again, I don't care who the president is, they're making policy decisions that, you know, impede on the lives of the people of the state more than the federal system was ever intended to, I absolutely would join in those cases. Attorney Thomas DeVore with us, uh, the GOP nominee for Attorney General heading into the November general election against Democratic incumbent Kwame Raoul. Uh, Twofold question here, Tom, in the uh, two and a half minutes we've got left. Uh, One, uh, your uh, ability to get uh, statewide uh, votes uh, to be able to win in November. And uh, there's been some questions about your personal life. How do you think those things are going to be brought up and what's your reaction to some of that criticism a couple of those things the things about my personal life most of what's been out there almost pretty much all of it is completely brought out of context and you know what attorney general raul and the democrats uh will certainly probably go down that path and i think it's going to have the same impact that it had with uh mr urban when he tried to go down that path the people of the state are tired of those games and of that nonsense and, and so it's not going to work for them. People care about uh, what's going on in their government, and which is a good thing. As far as statewide, I've been statewide. And the people in the northern collar counties and the city of Chicago are great people, and they are tired because they have been exponentially more impacted by a lot of these mandates and this government overreach than the people in the southern part of the state. Uh, and they're tired of it. They've had enough. They've told me about it. And, again, the attorney general and the governor – uh, they're going to be tied at the hip because, again, Attorney General Raul has been nothing but an extension extension of 
Governor Pritzker, and I think that's going to hurt him in the general election. Well, he got over 300,000 votes this time. I didn't really see much of uh, by way of uh, advertisements <laughs> uh, or you know uh, uh, Facebook ads or anything like that. Uh, how's your money situation, and uh, how are you going to go about uh, raising funds to go up against uh, Raul? we got uh, 30 seconds here. Those conversations have already been had. I, I showed the people that have money that I've already talked to that we could win this Uh, primary without a whole lot of funding our message is successful and so uh, i don't believe the funding is going to be an issue attorney thomas devore um we will definitely be talking again in the near future no question about it greatly appreciate your time this morning and again congratulations on getting the gop nomination last night in the primary thank you very much sir it is springfield's morning news i'm greg bishop on 92.7 wmay springfield's news and